I'm Stuart Thompson, editor of Digital TV Europe. I'm here with Steve Heap, who is president of RDK. Steve, um, for those of us who are a little bit unfamiliar with RDK, how would you describe it uh, and its role in the industry? Sure. The RDK is basically an open source software platform for video devices in the house. It's, it's really a software platform built for operators, by operators, with a big open source community. And it spans video devices from Qualm to IP to hybrid. It spans broadband devices from Doxis to GPON to DSL. And we've recently released a camera profile. So it really is a software platform that manages for the operator or the operator manages every device in the home. And it really puts the operator in control of their business model, their network, the data, the technical operations. And, and so it's really an operator's software platform. Great. Now we're going to talk about video shortly, but first, can you tell us a little bit more about RDK, RDK's role in, in broadband and the connected home? Sure, sure. So RDK originally started off as a video platform, but a couple of years back, everybody said, wow, that was really, really nice where it's pre-integrated into a chipset and it has device management, it has data management for all video devices. And, and it transitioned over into broadband and you have the same benefits where the operators in control of the hardware, the software, the data, the device management, and the services that go on top. And so it's been focused on DOCSIS 3.0 and transitioned into 3.1. It's been deployed all over the world. And recently, the new developments are GPON you know, for fiber distribution, and we have some DSL distributions coming up as well. And some of the real cool stuff that is going on is not just the device of a DOCSIS or GPON or DSL, it's the apps that go on top. And this is Wi-Fi management, speed management, and now mesh network management. And this is where you need real-time data if you want to make a phone-based app that you wanna check your speed, you wanna check your Wi-Fi connectivity, you wanna see if your mesh pods are working, and if you want to change something, you have to be able to send data real time. The device gets the message and makes the changes you want. And that's the real exciting stuff that's going on in the broadband is apps are being developed for the broadband network for the customer to be able to utilize the operator services in a very, very new way. And that, that's really fun to work with the operators on that. Great. Yeah, that uh, in-home connectivity is becoming really, really important for, for yeah. operators. People are now selling Wi-Fi. They're not yeah. really selling speed. Great. So getting back to the, the video uh, topic, you made some news recently, time for this year's virtual IBC pertaining to the video accelerator program and, and your announce with, announcement with Skyworth and Amlogic. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so we've had the video accelerator program going for quite some time, and we have uh, multiple OEMs and very, very much started with the Broadcom chipsets. And we now have AmLogic, we have Skyworth, and so the operators asked us to put this together. And what they want is the video accelerator is a platform that can be used for development but now it can also just be deployed. So you can pick up the phone and call multiple OEMs and you can have now choices of chipset and it pre-integrates the RDK and the chipset and it pre-integrates an app store and a little framework where you can do testing, but you can also develop your own UI and your, and your apps and uh, all the services and you can just deploy the same device. And so it's, it's really exciting. The operators are really, really jumping in on this to develop and deploy in a rapid methodology. Great. So that's nice. Fantastic. Uh, just maybe as a recap, how big is RDK today in terms of its overall deployment and the size of the community? And where do you see the, the sort of further growth and adoption coming from? Yeah, so there's, a, there's over 60 million devices deployed globally. And there's deployments in North America, South America, Europe, 
And, you know, there's some other new activity going on that we, we let the operators talk about. We don't make those announcements. Um, so the scale is, is really ramping up. It was very video focused, but broadband is, is really growing, right? Operators accepting and deploying is growing as well. And the community has over 400 tech companies included in the community. And this equates to thousands of engineers working on the platform. And that includes operators, includes SOC companies, includes OEMs, systems integrators, and, and, and everybody. And it's, it's really coming into its own with a solidified platform of high quality service and it puts the operator in control. So the growth, uh, I, I would say we're bringing another, another new ramp up of growth coming in and we're making a new release at the end of the year. And this is gonna have pre-integration of certain apps. It's gonna have some additional capabilities, and it's it's really, really going to be excited, and it's operator-driven. It's what the operator has worked with us on the roadmap, and that's what we put out to the community. Okay. Now, you mentioned the, the new release there, but aside from that, what's next for the RDK, and how can people learn more about what you're doing? Sure. So, the RDK is an open-source software platform. You can just go to RDK Central, one word, on the web. Uh, you can get your information. If you want a license, you just click and, uh, you know, it, it's pretty easy to get the code. And we also have our annual Americas and European conferences. This one's a little little different because everything's virtual. And we have the European Summit, which will be held at the end of October. And this is where the operators come together from all around the world. We talk about the roadmaps, we talk about the good, we talk about the bad, what can be improved, what do we need to focus on? Because the RDK is really the operator's platform built by the operator for the operator. So these, these get-togethers are, are very, very important for us to get the feedback and input and also very important for the operators that we that we talk about the vision and where things are going. Great, lots to come. Great, Steve, thanks very much. Sure, sure, good to talk to you again. Thanks.